Okay, I'm back. Um, it is a little past nine. I was just trying to get myself together uh, so I can just do this fun little um, random read. I don't really have anything in store about what to pull from, but uh, I'm going to just pull from whatever energy I can find. I did not... Um, Shuffle the cards, so I'm gonna do it this time in front of everybody. And I have the Kipper deck for uh, my clarification, as usual, because I do like to clarify. Okay, so this is just gonna be just a random four card spread across and down. And we're gonna read from the bottom of the deck of the Kipper and the Tarot deck. Tarot, Tarot. Ter the Terriet. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, how that happened? They all flipped over. Shuffle. Okay. Let's circumcise this deck. Let's cut it up real good, mastery. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't pardon me. Don't don't worry about me. I already shuffled the Kipper deck. I have noticed that these cards are slippery. All right, so bottom of the deck is justice. We might be dealing with karmic justice or just justice. Energies, Libra. Okay. Okay. Spirit guides and ascended masters as connected to my father Yahweh Yahshua, whose purest, whitest, bright light of all the white lights to come into my heart, come into my space. Grant me the truth and justice of your love and light that is of my father Yahweh Yahshua, that it would be authentically genuine, 1000% truth, 1000% justice of God's pure love, forgiveness, mercy, and, and light. Justice and truth only. No other entity other than from my Father God, Yahweh Yahshua. Archangel Michael, please come into my heart, come into my space, protect my energy from any entities and demon spirits that is not a part of my Father God, Yahweh Yahshua's love and light, of his purest, whitest, bright light, of all the light. Come into this random reading. Let it be fun, swift, smooth and light give clarity and understanding wisdom and truth in jesus christ's name sake our father who art in heaven how would be thy name and thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debt to us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen and amen Okay, so we're going to start off with the four card spread. Thank you, spirit guides. And this is a new perspective, a new beginnings. Ace of Wands. So that's for the first deck. The first line. The second is the Fool, Piscean Energy. The Hangman. That's the Fool of me. Third energy, Ace of Swords, the divine truth, higher perspective of thinking for your highest good. Fourth card, wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups, sitting with content, happy and satisfied. 
And the fifth card, the three of pentacles. Could be a business, a soulmate contract, a divorce, whatever. Okay, bottom of the deck is the page of cups. But now we're going to do three card read. Not four, but three for each row. Then we're going to clarify with the Kipper deck. One more shuffle because we do things in threes. Because one, two, three, you got me. Okay, can I have the first card for the Ace of Wands, Spirit Guide? Thank you. The Emperor. The second card. The King of Swords. That's way too many. Third card is the Three of Swords. All right, so in the past, this emperor was passionate about his new beginnings. Uh, him being a very non-emotional person, wanting to control the factor of this third party, ended him in a heartache. But later on was enlightened. What was he enlightened about, Collective? Let's see. Spirit God, can I please have the second card for the hangman? Please and thank you. Thank you so much. He was trying to heal this uh, soul contract. Soulmate contract, twin flame contract. Overdoing it, trying to be manipulative and controlling. If you really pay attention to it, collective, the emperor is a father, a businessman, an owner. He does not express any emotion on his face. It's He just doesn't express any emotion. He feels them, but does not uh, express them verbally. All right, and the energy from the King of Swords is somewhat the same. Um, this king feels every emotion on the inside. He stands on what he believes in. Um, the sword upright means the truth. So, uh, but he's not coming off of his throne. He's a father. He's a businessman. He's a leader. Uh, he could be a teacher. Um, he could be looked at as a good person in the community, but suffers with control issues, all right? And does not express his emotions verbally at all. So he could be more of an introvert. But he's being enlightened about his um, his uh, third-party betrayal um, against this union. Um, this also, I'm looking at three different energies here. Thank you. Um, the energies that I am picking up Definitely is, uh, we have Aries, we have Sagittarius and Leo, we have Piscean energy, and we also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius again, and uh, possibly Piscean or Scorpio energy, okay? So we need one more for the Knight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit God. Um, and now you see Earth sign, Virgo. All right, this is studying. This is going within. This is handling a dark night of the soul. This is just studying. This is somebody watching. All right. So in the past, he was passionate about his new beginning, his new career, and, and him being in control and in him standing in his power of trying to be overly overly manipulative, um, having his third party, trying to uh, hide this third party from his soulmate, but he was enlightened, uh, or his soulmate was enlightened about him 
actually trying to give this false offer to this independent woman who was the divine feminine for this divine masculine, this emperor, all right? But because of his deception, he's going within about trying to look at things from a more higher perspective uh, at, a, at a business point, just looking for some type of way to work some type of smoothing out some type of friction in between him and his twin spiritual union. Um, let's just see. Can we have the second card for the Ace of Swords, Spirit God, please? And thank you. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I'm finally sleepy, y'all. I've been up suffering with insomnia and my spiritual awakening for about a year and some change now. And But I always had insomnia. I had picked it up back in 2002 when my son was born, my first son. Um, I just could not sleep because he had a stomach problem. He was always crying every hour on the hour. Greedy little thing. But he still have problems with his tummy every now and then. I'm talking like he a baby, 18. My God, my first child is 18. Uh, girl, you look good. Let me stop rambling. Can I have the second card? Spirit God, please and thank me. I please have the second card for the Eight of Swords. Thank you. So again, another Piscean energy. Um, he went. This is someone that's watching this air sign. Okay, looking at things from a different perspective. He's trying to. He wants to take a leap of faith. All right. And why does he want to take a leap of faith? Can I have the third card for the collective? All right. Uh, but he's in a, in a mental prison um, about this passionate new offer. About this new passionate new offer towards his wish fulfillment. Um, because he was being deceptive in the past. Yes, he was. He was. He got caught lying, cheating, and stealing from his twin, manipulating. And now he's in two minds. Now, don't forget, he was in the Eight of Swords, too. But that's a mental imprisonment that you can get yourself out of. But he was actually stalling on purpose. Still indecisive in two minds. Can't make up a decision but move so rationally to, to go in the wrong direction because he knows that he's going to be in a competition with other lovers or he was hiding the fact he that he had multiple lovers which is that's true because it's in this is in the first the first row with the with the emperor and the king of swords okay so that just confirmed it in the deck The spiritual union. Can I have the first? This yes, the first card for the three of pentacles. Spirit God, please and thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And now he wants to move the common waters because he's he's watching you, or. Someone is watching him. He has a stalker. Can I have one more for the collective? Spirit God, please and thank you. May I please have one more for the collective? Using the turret deck before we move on to the kipper. Now I'm going to look over this, everybody. And I'm going to make sure that I can see if I can read this in another way because this story may not be for everybody and that's fine because every every story is not meant for you. It might be your cousin. It might be your friend. It might be your friend's friend. Maybe it sounds familiar. I mean, you know, everybody knows a little bit of somebody's business. 
depending on how close you are. But still, you never know who you know. That's why we being taught today. Learn to take your time and get to know people. Because everybody that you don't know, you rush into, has, all of them don't have good intentions for you, okay? And you need to be very, very observant in following your intuition. And just not be so passive aggressive no more about your life and actually set healthy boundaries for yourself so that you will not be taken advantage of. Look at this. Capricorn energy. The devil. So basically, this male is watching the independent lady, his twin, and he's being stalked. By one of his lovers that he gave to. See what I'm saying? He was breadcrumbing all these women. All, it might be seven or eight of them. You never know. It's more than one. That's the energy at the bottom. All because he was giving. It. Yes, see? Look. The Knight of Cups, he was given to more than one person when he knew he was just the, the King of Pentacles was supposed to have been with this Queen of Pentacles who was abundant already, who was balanced out and everything, who wanted to show emotion. She was already emotional and loving and caring, intuitive, smart, being led by the divine and, and, and everything else, waiting on her new cycle. All because she was being good through, through all this deception. The Lord has given her a whole new start. Which means she's going, she's probably going to get a whole new offer from a Leo. Or maybe not. She might get contact, but this Leo was juggling. And was working hard. To keep this, this spiritual union in the third party. He's coming in with a slow, false offer just so he can come in and be a player to this Queen of Cups. You see what I'm saying? How are you going to do that to your own divine partner? Now you in misery and you want to drop the burdens. Well, go within because you're going to be left out in the cold. King of Pentacles. See that? You betray your divine feminine. Or your wife. The one that actually helped support you. Bared your children and everything. She sacrificed her life and put it on. Look at that. I didn't shuffle it and it came right back out. This is crazy. This is awesome. Okay, so I'm thinking another way that you can look at this is that now I'm getting ready to look at it in a wacky way. So if it resonates with you, thumbs up. If it don't, it's okay. Now this... From the past, it was a passionate new beginning in between these, these, uh, this twin flame. But through the conflict that was worked, through, through harsh communication and deception, it put both of them in a, in a mental prison, but one of them decided to come out of it and go towards their passionate new beginning, which is their new contract, their new higher living, new higher perspective, new new passionate job, new passionate life, new family, new love, everything. They went towards their wish fulfillment because they decided to drop this toxic energy, this Capricorn. And, and this Capricorn is watching this uh, emperor. He's watching his twin and it's a Capricorn, a karmic that's toxic and obsessed with him is watching him. That's why he wants to move away to calm water. Somebody is running. Spirit God, can, I'm using the clar uh, clarify. Whoops. Yeah, this emperor is stuck in toil and labor now and being held back. He can't come nowhere near. Nowhere near his twin now. This is like just nonstop betrayal. All because, you know, it's all for money. He just wanted to be around for, for sudden wealth. Because he's he seen his wish fulfillment 
could have brought him so much abundance, but because of that, now he got to go to court for it. Karmic justice. He got to sit there because he violated that soul, that soul contract that the divine set up. You backstabbed and betrayed your divine being other half. You don't do that. Mature man. Okay, so he evolved, he evolved spiritually, but then still ended up giving some malarkey. It's like, you know, God is married to the backslider, okay? He is. Now, the bottom of the deck is this, Six of Pentacles. And the bottom of the deck is this, Distance Horizon. So, in a distance... This divine feminine that's been betrayed by her divine masculine, all right, over money. All right, she's receiving her karmic justice because this mature man that's, that's spiritually matured now still has to pay for his karma. But in the distance horizon, she's going to be giving back everything that she put out and the community is going to love her. She's going to get recognized. This is in a distant horizon, okay? So if this resonated with anybody, please like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and have a blessed night, and I will see you again tomorrow morning at 9. God bless.